Chapter 22, Baseball and Breeding. Before bed on Sunday night, Janie always took a shower and washed her hair. Lately, she had been weaving it into six braids while it was still damp so that she could have some wavy hair in the morning. Janie's hair was usually stick straight, like Dad's and Bath's, though hers was a dark, dark brown instead of black. When she came out of the bathroom with her pajamas and carrying a wide tooth comb with six hair ties, Bed asked, can I braid it? I can do it myself, Janie said. Let him try, Dad said from the couch where he was watching baseball on TV. He had an orange and black baseball cap on his head because tonight he was rooting for the Orioles. He had a collection of caps for all the teams he liked. And whenever one of the teams was playing, he'd select the right baseball cap from the top shelf in his closet to wear it for the whole game. Dad said he didn't believe in luck, but it sort of seemed like he did. Okay, said Janie. But if you mess up the braids, I'm just going to redo them. She sat cross-legged on the floor, facing the TV. Bat sat behind her on the couch next to Dad. Janie handed him the comb. Bat started combing at the very bottom, the way that Janie had taught him, so he wouldn't pull on her hair. He worked out all the little tangles with the teeth of the comb as he made his way up toward the top of her head. Soon, he could pull the comb straight through her hair, from the very top why are words so hard today? Soon, he could pull the comb straight through her hair from the very top to the ends without snagging at all. Then he divided her hair into six sections, two in the front, two in the middle, and two in the back. The back two sections looked a lot thicker than the others, but Bat didn't think Janie would notice. He picked up the front left section of hair and started braiding. Go, go, go! Dad yelled at the TV. One of the baseball players had made a good hit and was running as fast as he could around the bases. I think baseball is the most boring game that you could ever watch, Janie said, even more boring than football. That's because you won't let me explain it to you, Dad said, adjusting his cap. If you understand the game, it's fascinating. Bat reached the bottom of the first section of hair and wound a pink elastic around the end of it. The braid wasn't perfectly neat and straight like the braids that Janie did, but it wasn't bad. Moving on to the other front section, Bat focused on making the second braid even better than the first. There's a picture of all of them. Make sure you're braiding it tight, Janie said, so it's really wavy. I am, Bat said. Bat loved braiding Janie's hair, even though he usually wasn't very good at hand things. He liked the feeling of the damp, heavy hair. He liked organizing it into a series of smaller and neater contained braids. He liked feeling close to Janie like this, by helping her and touching her, without having to have a big conversation that might turn into a fight. Getting along with people was hard for Bat. Figuring out what they meant when they said something or when they made certain faces at him. People were complicated, but braiding was easy. There, he'd finished the second braid and wrapped the end with a dark green elastic. Janie reached up and touched the braid, then pulled it in front of her face so she could see it. Not bad, she said. Yes, yelled Dad. He stood up from the couch, grabbing the cap from his head and waving it around. It wasn't the same as being home. Mom wasn't there and Thor wasn't there, but maybe every other weekends could be okay.